how has it been for you in Tampa, Tom? Well, it's been, um, you know, it's, I got down here April 1st and, um, you know, we kind of free agency stuff happened and then moved, moved down here April 1. Hadn't moved much since, uh, you know, all the things going on in the world and just kind of getting acquainted with, with everything down here through the off season. And then, you know, we were all kind of figuring out how the season was going to start and, um, you know, cancel all those preseason games. And it's just been a lot of football since then. You know, really since I got down here, I've been trying to get acclimated to, you know, a new environment. You know, it's pretty much everything's changed after 20 years being in one place, you know, one drive home, one practice facility, one practice field, you know, one set of coaches. And, you know, I think it's just getting accustomed to a whole different routine and, um, you know, a little bit of a different lifestyle. It's warm weather all the time. It's just, it's a little bit different. So I'm kind of enjoying that part. Um, I've had a lot of fun days down here. I said, other than the two losses, we've been having a lot of fun. So we're, uh, we're going to try to keep the, keep the wins coming. Well, you know, you just talked about 20 year and, and you're accustomed, you know, to doing things a certain way. Um, you know, going into the, the Tampa Bay's offense where you've been in a, in, in a New England Patriots system for 20 years, you know, talk about, you know, some of the, the heartache of, of trying to learn a new system, knowing that you didn't have the summer and the off season to prepare for this upcoming season. Yeah, I think it, everything had its challenge. I think every team was faced with some different challenges, obstacles, thing. Anytime you switch teams or coaches switch places or, you know, there's different moving parts. Um, it's a bit more of a challenge mentally. Um, I definitely study in my playbook a lot more, but at the same time, football is football. You know, how, you know, this team calls routes versus how I used to do it. In the end, you know, it's get open, catch the ball, you know, run to the open spots. And um, you did a lot of that for me. So I just made my job easier when you were running down the field and I was just chucking it up to you. You know, just looking at the game of football and you're, you making that transition, you know, I think there was a lot of question mark of, of what this offense would look like. What would a Tom Brady, you know, led offense look like outside of New England? And you guys right now are, are third in the National Football League in points per game. How comfortable, Tom, would you say you are in this offense? I think it's improving each week, certainly from week one. Um, you know, it's a steady improvement. We didn't have any preseason games to communicate, to go through a call sheet, to put you know, the plays on the line that really come up when you need it most, you know, two minute drills that actually mean something. Um, a lot of it's just new. And even though I've been doing it for a long time, I'm doing it with a different group of players and coaches. And I think a lot of it is comes down to, for all of us, problem solving. Okay, when something comes up in the game that maybe we didn't, we didn't expect, how are we gonna solve that problem? And when you work together with, and the continuity I think is so important in the NFL, when you, when you can solve those problems really quickly, you know, it's, it, the game's much smoother. And I think working through those with, you know, my players that I'm playing with now, the coach that I have now, um, I think for all of us, we're learning each other and we're still learning each other. I think it's going to go that way throughout the entire season. I don't think we're going to get to a point like, oh, great, you know, we got this all figured out. We got every situation nailed. I think we're going to be trying to continue to, you know, push the urgency button, you know, try to improve. You know, I think there's a lot of room for us to grow with one another. Um, and, you know, that's, that's, we're just going to keep trying to do it as best we can and put the work in every week and practice and prepare and work hard and be selfless and execute at a high level and then see how it shakes out. Well, I remember coming to New England and the first person that I met in a locker room going to a new team was Kevin. You know, you going to the new locker room, going to Tampa, who is the first player that you ran into it and talk a little bit about that, that run in. So I got together in off season with uh, Cam Brate and Scotty Miller and uh, Chris Godwin. And it was those three that I really kind of started. Uh, they were in town, they're working out and you know, I wanted to throw the football around. So I was like, fellas, you know, let's get to work. What do we got to do? And um, you know, everyone showed up and over the course of that off season, a few more guys showed up, Rojo showed up. Um, Mike showed up, Gronk, OJ. Um, it became a really cool, fun thing for us to be able to do, get to know one another without you know, any interruptions. And um, you know, it was just a great bonding experience for all of us. And I think we, you know, I really got an understanding of how important football is for them. 
how talented of football players they are. And I knew we had great potential. And then it was just a matter of us putting the work in to improve on a, on a daily basis. And then when training camp started, it was incorporating everybody in the line and the call. The, Ryan Jensen came with us. Our starting center came to work out with us in the morning just to snap and go through cadences and all the different things that are really important to the success of the team. So there's been a lot of selfless guys who have really put the team first that are really working hard to, um, you know, every week to put us in a good position to succeed. And it's certainly not perfect. And every week we're trying to be a little bit better. And, um, you know, I just want us to continue to improve. And what would you say the ceiling is for this team, Tom? It depends. It's, it's up to us. That's the ceiling. It, de it depends on our attitude, depends on our work ethic, uh, depends on our determination. Ultimately, it's going to depend on our execution. So um, if we put the preparation first and the process is right, then, you know, the results will come. So I don't think too much about how many wins, how many yards, this, that. It's like how hard are we going to, how much of a commitment are we willing to make to do the right things on a daily basis, which takes discipline, which when it takes discipline, it takes action and you got to, have your actions match your priorities. So if our priority is winning, we've got to ma match our prior with what our choices are on a daily basis. They have to be prioritized to that. You know, everybody just wanting to see the magic and how things are going to work with you bringing Antonio Brown. You know, my question for you bringing Antonio Brown in, how much, how much pull did you have lobbying for a guy like Antonio Brown, you know, coming and playing on this, you know, high explosive offense? Well, I've, you know, I've watched Antonio for a long time and then had the opportunity to play with him last year for a short period of time. And, um, you know, Jason and Bruce, you know, felt like there was a right opportunity to add him to, the, to a really talented group that we already have. And um, I certainly didn't object to it. Um, I think the more good players we have on our team, you know, the better we can become. And um, he's joined in a very deep group of, of, of players at that position. And, the way that Mike really leads the group, Chris has been an incredible player for this offense. Um, you can see it when he's not in the lineup, what happens to our offense. Scotty Miller's had a hell of a year. Um, we got other guys contributing, um, Justin Watson, Cyril, Jay Mick. Um, you know, everyone's finding a different role. So Antonio's going to work his heart, you know, work as hard as he always has. He's a very hard worker. Everyone knows that. And, um, you know, we'll see what we can do when he gets on the field. You know, it it, 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 it appears, you know, his first game with you working in Miami it just seems like you all had chemistry. It seemed like you wanted to get him the ball, Tom. You know, just, just talk, talk a little bit about some of the things that we or the people, the fans outside of your locker room may not know about Antonio Brown coming to your team. You know, look, it's, it's easy for a quarterback when guys are, you know, when I look at you, the first game you, you and I played together against the Jets, that was an electric day just because you have a great understanding of the game. You have a great feel. Um, you know, we didn't even get a preseason together, you and I, and we went off in that first game. You know, the first game with Wes, same thing. First game with Deion Branch, same thing. You know, Julian, you know, as he came along, you know. So, you know, good players, you know, they find ways to make plays. And, um, you know, receivers' jobs get, get open, catch the ball, and do something with it. And... Um, I played with a lot of guys that know how to do that. Mike knows how to do that. Chris knows how to do that. Certainly Antonio knows how to do that. And we just got to figure out how the pieces fit and try to go execute, you know, really well on a, on a weekly basis. Certainly it starts in practice and then get out there and when the, when the lights come on, see how everybody goes out there and, and performs. I have to ask you this question. I, know, I remember me leaving Minnesota, going to Oakland, being able to see, you know, my old team on the, on the field. And I know... I know you do pay attention to Patriots, and uh, they're two and four right now. Never in your Patriot career have you ever started and uh, started two and four. You know, from an emotional standpoint, Tom, when you look look at them, you know, on television or even in your film study, what what do you feel, or if or even uh, if you feel anything? Well, I've been, I've obviously have a lot of personal relationships with a lot of guys that I keep in touch with, and. Um, I haven't, there's been no really crossover games except the, the, the uh, Raider game that we had. So I haven't been able to, to watch many of their games other than, you know, I, I'm always wishing everyone the best. You know, you, you know me, I want people to do well. And, um, you know, football is a tough sport. Every team's trying to win every week. One's got to win, one's got to lose. And 
Um, emotionally, I'm invested in the team that I'm on now. And um, that's enough of a job for me to focus on. So uh, whoever wins and loses outside of the team I'm playing against, which I know I want us to win every week, whoever we're playing against, I want them to lose. To me, it's, it really doesn't matter who wins and loses outside of that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.